All right, so I've been doing some thinking about where I would like to go with the channel, and I'll be brief, but I think I would like to start covering mods for Subnautica. Um, I would like to start making little videos on, you know, anytime they update, like so the de-extinction mod got an update a few days ago, so I'm going to be covering that, and I would like to cover, any, you know, any new mods that come out, I might, you know, test them out, let, let you know how they, how they work. Um, I, of course, I won't cover everything. A lot of these are just, you know, fixes, and um, a lot of people like to make custom batteries. But the ones that I really find interesting, I'm going to, you know, download those and have like a little video on them. And then, of course, keep you up to date with anything updated with De Extinction. And the hopefully soon we'll be getting the Gargantuan Leviathan available to the public. And I will definitely be keeping everyone up to date with the um, updates on that. So, I mean, these are right here are anything new this week. Um, there's a couple of things where people have like custom recipes for, you know, the bases and then you can, you know, get that fixed. So that way you get the, you know, equipment, the stuff back that you put in instead of just the basic titanium and glass. And then here's custom recipes for building the bases. Um, here's a really interesting mod. It says it early access, but this is an easier craft to make, um, the recipes easier so if you got someone that's never played Subnautica and you know maybe a, a young child and you could download this mod and give it you know have it set up for them so that way when they're playing they get an easier playthrough uh, here's a reaper battery I <laughs> I haven't really messed around with that but you can uh, actually make your own custom batteries and modify how much power they have and how they appear this one you know I'm gonna be covering this actually this is one of my favorite new ones base leg removal um, it'll make it a lot easier for docking your sea moth or prawn suit into the moon pool. It would be, you know, a lot easier having those legs out of the way. So I'm going to cover that. And then this one, I haven't messed around with it just yet, but um, this one that you can combine the the kelp with the fish and then using bleach and you can have food and, and water at the same time. So that's a neat little recipe modification there. So this is what I'm going to be doing. Um, with a lot of my videos other than just playthroughs and you know testing out different games I would definitely like to keep you all up to date with the Subnautica mods so that's definitely what we're gonna be doing here alright so I wanted to cover this mod right here called base leg removal um, it's really simple mod it works very very well um, you pretty much go in let's see like, let's say, for example, you, you know, you got your moon pool and you're tired of running into these legs all the time with your seam off. So you can pretty much go into the mod options here and you can remove the legs. Just as simple as that. And, you know, this is futuristic technology. You can justify that, you know, it's got some sort of anti-grav unit <laughs> if you want to you know get into the the physics here or whatever but you know i can also oops, sorry let's see i can also make some multi-purpose rooms human contact. some of this right here and i just simply go into the options um multi-purpose room and then the corridor right here and just like that they're hovering and I, I love this mod I think this is so cool I can you know pretty much make the foundations as high as I want I can put them wherever I want and then oh, I keep doing that and then go to foundation and I can have a hovering foundation right here this is a really this mod just came out recently and it's one of the newer mods for this week thought i'd show it off and that is really cool so you definitely won't have any problems getting your seamoth in here with all this in the way love it all right so we're going to look over some of the changes to the subnautica de-extinction mod right now we are on version 1.0.3 now so far we've got the spawn adjustments, uh, they change some of the locations for their spawns. Um, they also have it to where when you kill the Gulper Leviathan, he will not respawn. Uh, aggressive creatures, that would include the other ones. Um, 
the gulper does less damage to the seamoth. I'm testing this out in this video. And he does have a little bit of a glitch where he kind of seems to grab you twice in a row really fast. So I, I hope they do something about that. Um, they've done a few changes to the databank on some of the creatures. I want to see if I can dig through that and see if I can find some of the changes that they've made. And, of course, they've updated uh, the texture to the Gulper Leviathan. He's looking a lot better than he does right here. So we're going to get into some of the video, and I'm going to show you some of the changes that they've made. All right, so I was looking at some of the changes to the databank entries and so far the only thing that I could notice was the filter. Um, everything on here is the same except for this one extra sentence here. It says cannot pick up while contracted due to several mucus secreting glands lining the exterior. It says edible though mostly water. So I know you can go to the fabricator. Uh, there is a mod where you can get two bottles of water from it. So I'm assuming they mean you know you just can't get water through it as it is because of the hard exterior but I wasn't sure exactly what that meant um, it took me forever to scan the gulper Leviathan to get him to hold <laughs> to get him to stay still they need to update this picture though I think because his his textures are still a little outdated right there I don't know they might just leave that as it is uh, but if anyone hasn't seen his entry, it says this vast animal is at the top of the local food chain and has been designated Leviathan class. Jaws situated within the maw of the Leviathan are four mobile jaws capable of launching forward and dragging prey in towards the mouth. Limbs. A pair of fins modified into muscular limbs serve an unknown purpose. Possibilities include restraint of other animals, propulsion off of the seabed, and slashing of potential prey or threats. Whatever the case, avoidance of limbs is highly recommended. <laughs> uh, behavior consumes anything it can fit into its mouth, will attempt to crush prey if too large or tough. Hunts using electromagnetic signals may be drawn to wreck technology. That's interesting. Um, assessment, extreme threat to whatever can fit into its mouth. <laughs> Avoid in all circumstances. All right. So I don't know if this has any changes. Um, I didn't get a look at the older version. So if anyone notices a difference here, let me know. But I couldn't really find a difference on anything else. So that's what we have for the databank entries. see here his textures are much more simplistic compared to the update and he doesn't do as much damage as he used to so when I get to the sea ball this is the original version he instantly breaks But you can see his textures are much more simple. Alright, so these are some of the new changes to the local Leviathan. <laughs> He's after me. <laughs> Let's get back over here, big guy. Let's take a look at you. So these are some of the... Uh, let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and take a look at him here. Right. Well, he looks really good in this biome. All right. So these are some of the changes to him. Uh, you can see the scales that they've updated. They looks like they've updated. Ooh, I've, I'm even noticing some um, coloration here. A lot of uh, extra textures to these uh, pincers here. A lot of extra, you know, um, scale texture all the way down his body. He's kind of got like this eel kind of shaped body, but he kind of reminds me of some reason I get like this barracuda kind of vibe uh, I'm not sure Ooh, wow that's so pretty the way they've added all day he's got this um, reflective shimmering quality to him and when I first saw this guy I was thinking oh he's got Kara <laughs> really bad but it turns out these are some bioluminescent spots that he has going all the way up and down his body 
So he is definitely looking a lot better than he did at first compared to... Let's see here. Let's take a look at your little pinchers here. Oh, they got this reflective. See, now the mouth on the inside looks a little bit... I mean, you know, it, it, it's not supposed to be reflective, so I think they definitely need to fix that. I mean, it looks pr pretty, looks cool, but, you know, I don't know if these teeth were there before or not. I don't remember seeing those, but it's definitely looking awesome. Such a major improvement. Now, they are supposed to have it to where he doesn't do quite as much damage to your Let's see, let me go back to damage one, um, speed one. Oh, oh, there we go. Where are we at? So we're gonna see how much. Oh, uh, my damage. Ah, my thing is already. Let's spawn a different one. Okay, so this one. Let's see how much damage he does to it. Where did you go? Yeah, they need to give him a little cooldown time, so that way you can get away from him is easy. But I managed to back off from him. <laughs> All right, come on, big guy, hit me one more time. Okay, so I can survive technically two encounters. Now, um, let's see. Okay, I need to. Heal up. Alright, so how much damage do you do to me? I want to see if you can eat me in... Oh, okay, so... <laughs> apparently that is still a one-hit KO. So I I thought they fixed the damage to the player, but I guess I guess they don't. You get caught. I mean, it makes sense. You know, you get caught in those jaws, that big giant mouth. There's no way you're gonna survive that. So that is the changes they've made to the Gulper Leviathan. Also, for those of you wondering, um, this is a size comparison of the Gulper Leviathan to the human body. <laughs> I mean, that's. He doesn't even need to use those chompers on you. Like, that's just one... That's just one gulp. <laughs> he is huge. Alright, and so for an added little bonus here, I am going to do a miniature playthrough of this. It's basically a save file that you download. So I guess you could kind of call it a mod in a way, but this creator, the Tall Pancake, put a lot of work into this. He created a maze here that you start off at the beginning and you know you try to work your way through it can be a bit frustrating at times but it is very fun he's put a lot of cool you know made a lot of neat bases through the game and i'm going to do a play through this so now this will be spoilers though if you want to play this then don't watch this video however if you want to just you know watch the playthrough for this go ahead and i'm going to be starting this right now all right, so I am testing out this save file that I downloaded off the Nexus website from, this is the creator, The Tall Pancake. <laughs> and wow, what a sight. 337 meters down. Oh, I see a warper. Not exactly sure where this is at. I think something about the dunes. Okay, type bound dunes. In co oh, okay, okay, so I get it. So I can pick between two modes. Mode one is do it normally. Only for land-faring runners. Uh, mode two, ultra chad type biome dunes in console and run. Uh, this is my first time doing this. I think I'm just going to do it normally. I, I don't know what that's going to do. I will definitely try that on the next run, though. That sounds interesting. Um, don't get lost now. 
Venture awaits. Run the maze and you'll get a prize. Rules opposite here. All right. Well, let's get started. Um, okay. Okay. So the, the door stays open. So that's good. At least I'll know where I've been. down hatch over there uh, let's see okay um, dead end so I'm pretty sure going down is where I need to be from here uh, all right let's go down okay dead end oh dead end Okay, all right, let's go through this door. Okay, what do we got here? Um, hey, Ultra Chads, want one. So what safe to, does that mean that if you pick Ultra Mode, you have to go outside in the water somehow? Okay, I'm not gonna use a camera and cheat. <laughs> Reaper Leviathan. Uh, okay, so I'm not sure what that's gonna do for me. Oh, these twists and turns. I'm so thankful that I know exactly where I've been with those open doors. Okay, so now we're in a multi-purpose room. Uh, I think I'll pick the straight shot. Ooh, we got a whole bunch of... What you thought it would be... <laughs> Get lost, chump. Wow, and I just said I'll pick the straight shot. That's what I get. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Oh, man. This is crazy. Okay, here's a door I haven't been through. Dead end. Okay. Um, oh, let's go this way. Oh, man. Oh, no, I've already... Oh. Wait, is this where I've been? This, no, this looks different. This is... Oh, okay. Well, oh! Alien containment. <laughs> hey, guys, what's up? Yeah, that would not be um, realistic. That's beautiful, though, but there's just way too many of them. I feel bad for them. Okay, so... Arcade <laughs> gorge toy. You made it. Now visit my office. Wait, what? So this is the end? Six. Uh, um. Okay, well, hang on. Give me a second here. I'm going to try to write that. Oh, well, this is sure is fascinating. I'm taking a look around through here. He's got, oh, he's got all those hydro, <laughs> all those thermal generators. Um, okay, so... His office. Okay, my question is, how exactly do I get out of here to get to the office? Uh, I don't know what. I don't know what that. Oh, that's the, okay. That's that. No. What's in here? What ending? It ain't... <laughs> okay, so this was a fake... Um, a fake ending, which I'm glad that I did not go into. So... Okay. So we're going to have to key in the coordinates. Ah, okay. So we we found it, apparently. Um... So we got us a nice little purple prawn suit. Nice. 
nice, nice. Um, what exactly is it in here that I'm needing to get? Ooh, wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't think I've ever decorated quite like this before. Wow, that is colorful. Um, okay, let's see. Well, this looks like quite the conference room. This is no, this is the break room. <laughs> um, okay, that's just the entrance. So. We got any, okay. There's the break room. Uh, we got us a alien containment with nothing in it. Um, Hiya Maze Runner, Subnautica, Delta Maze. Thanks for playing the Tall Pancake. Keep calm. And we have lots and lots of stuff here. Danger hazardous materials. <laughs> so I mean, this is a really cool base. Um, I don't know what exactly was in here that I was supposed to find, other than just the the poster. You know, wait, what was that? I just oh, I'm looking at the window. Oh, okay, cool. I wouldn't mind just playing this file, just you know, normally. This is really cool. I love this base. Wow. Um, <laughs> well, with 4,000 power, yeah, that's definitely enough. God dang. Need enough water? And then this is just the... Oh, wait, what's up here? Okay, we got more up here that I didn't even know about. Let's see. Pancake's office. Okay, so this is what I'm supposed to be seeing. I get switch. Okay, so lead into there. Okay, well. Pretty cool base. Cool base. I guess that's about it, guys. And then we have an empty room here. Okay, well, I'm just going to leave it there. So, yeah, this was a pretty cool mod. You know, um. So, yeah, if you don't want spoilers on this, you don't want to watch this at all. But, let's see, where exactly in the Lost River are we? Okay, well, alright, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for watching. Peace.